Hey beauties, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Angie and today I'm going to show you how to slay the easy way. Today I'm going to be rocking this unit and I hope you guys enjoy. So you guys already know I'm rocking a wig. Wig is wig season, okay? So this unit right here is so pretty. Um, the curls are super curly. I had me some water to kind of like juice them up. This is for Lorima hair. Um, this is 24 inches. Look at the, just look at the uh, front. Look at that. This lace is bomb, okay? I've already bleached the knots, and the reason why I bleached the knots, and if you guys want to see me bleach the knots and see, like, start to finish, like, how to install a wig, let me know, because I'll do that. Um, I got this. This is what comes with it. So here's the unit, 24 inches curly. Um, all I did was just shampoo it and condition it after I bleached the knots to lighten up the knots so that you don't see the black, um, you know, spotty knots on your hair. You get a, this looks like a cute little head scarf. Looks like something you'll wear like on vacation or something like, you know, just tying in the front of your lace. And I got two headbands. They sent me some lashes. These are cute. <laughs> These are um, really cute, actually. Nice and full. So they sent me some lashes, and then you get wig. You get a wig cap. So um, I already have my cap on. I'm not going to do the bald method. I think I'm going to do a glueless install today, just to show you guys that even if you're not really good with the glue, you're not comfortable with glue, you can still install it. Um, on the inside of here, you have. A comb here, here, and here. So a total of three combs in the pro appropriate spots. You don't want any combs um, other than on the sides and in the back. Then you get a um, adjustable strap that back here, where you can adjust the straps to bring them tighter to make it tighter on your head. So go ahead and put it on. And for this install, I think I want to do like a really super, I don't know, like big look. Um, no middle part. I think just kind of like a free, I don't know. Should I do a side part, you guys? Y'all know I love Old Faithful though. But I do think I need to switch it up. I think I could do a size part so so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut along the natural hairline to take away all this excess lace I said excess excess take away the extra lace okay and I'm only gonna have a thin layer of lace around the edges and that way I can see what I'm working with I'm gonna heat up my hot comb this is a hot comb that I got on Amazon you can get this on Amazon I can link it below I remember um, this is the Andes, and it works amazing, okay? And it's just a plug-in one. And um, so I'm going to heat that up because I'm going to end up pressing and kind of like smoothing the, out my edges and things like that. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we're going to do makeup together, and we're going to talk. So let me go ahead and cut. And once I cut off this lace, I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm about to... It's cut. I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation um, to it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my foundation onto the lace. So now we have it all um, covered. We're going to go ahead and put it on our head. Just in the strap to make this tighter so I'm just gonna go in and loop it um, right here 
and then I'm going to clip my sides back so that I can lay the wig down. Okay, so um, this is going to be a glueless install. So I'm literally only using freeze spray to hold it down. Just to show you guys that if you're scared of glue, you can do it. You can have a nice little temporary hold. Um, it can hold you all day without, you know what I'm saying, having to mess with glue. Um, especially if you just don't, you're not all the way comfortable. my edges okay so this is a glueless install you guys so it's gonna be quick it's not gonna take long after I do that I will be doing my makeup my hyaluronic acid this right here is from the pharmacy it is paraben free formaldehyde free vegan um, cruelty free no mineral oil and what it does is this is the hyaluronic acid acid this right here helps your skin look healthy and it's full of collagen and again it's hyaluronic uh, acid so it's really good for making the skin look revived and glowy and so I'm gonna pump some of this on before I put my foundation on but I'm gonna do it now First of all, it smells crazy good and it's supposed to like make the skin. Look at my skin. Now I'm going to take my wax and apply my wax now. Now you're not going to see that little thin line of demarcation from the lace. Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. Okay, now I'm about to do my brows. I'm just going to use my concealer by NARS in the shade Biscuit underneath.
now I'm about to put concealer on NARS. And foremost, having three kids have been such a blessing to me and in my life. I really am just so honored to be a mommy. I just feel so blessed. This is something I always wanted to do. I always wanted to be a mother. Um, uh, I didn't know, you know, I would be a mother as early as 22. Um, but I definitely do not regret it. And I mean, I'm just, I'm blessed. Now, when it comes to um, the responsibility, now, motherhood is beautiful. But, um, I, I, I'm a stay at home mom. So my work is at home and my work required me to film, which means that it has to be quiet. So mixing children that are full of energy <laughs> and rambunctious they at home and trying to do work that requires quiet time is literally something I've, I haven't mastered yet. If I can be really honest, you guys, sorry, the lens is right here, but the viewfinder is right here. So if I keep looking over here, just forgive me, okay? So I haven't mastered that yet. So I haven't mastered that yet. And so honestly, um, it's overwhelming. Um, I find myself having a hard time completing work um, and getting sometimes like my deadline. This is such a pretty texture. Like, look at this texture. Fire. Soft. It's super soft. Um, the moment I get like a new opportunity um, and have to get things together and promote and do what I do, um, I'll be wanting to get started right away, you know, because this is my job and my kids, <laughs> I literally have to go through my deadlines um, and figure out, sorry you guys, and figure out um, how do I balance the two because I don't want to um, always be working because you know my kids are at home with me that you know my kids are constantly fighting for attention they're always wanting to um, be on me and I have to sacrifice sleep sometimes because if I don't get my work done in the day because like right now it's nap time and I had to obviously tell them to lay down several times so even filming this is very complex um because I have to sometimes take the sound out and that's why sometimes I don't talk to you guys you know as often as I would like on the videos because I literally have to do a voiceover and it has to be quiet then you know or I just have to speed it up and have music so really the long story is the long story short is that it's challenging I haven't mastered it and I get discouraged and sometimes I just don't you know always film because I mean I'm at home and my kids think mommy's home so that means mommy is supposed to be you know mommy 24 <laughs> 7 but they don't understand this is my job you know as well as my passion I don't even look at it as a job because literally it's literally my passion so I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier um, setting powder and just set my face so I'm just setting my face with the translucent powder by Laura Mercier honestly this is the best translucent powder um, I've ever used because the formula is super um, dope like it literally goes with any foundation and no matter how much I put on underneath my uh, foundation it's gonna set it like for instance, you see this greasy look right here? Piped it down. <laughs> Just like that. This side greasy. I literally can use this to set my entire face without giving myself that white look. Um, you know like how I like this part right here. Um, it's concealed so it brightens up the under eye. It only brightens it up if concealer was put down so it's perfect because you can literally set your entire face with this powder and you can pack it up and you do not get flashback at all honestly this is my favorite you can purchase this same translucent powder from my Macy's storefront the link will be in the description box below so it's difficult because I have a 11 month old and <laughs> 
a three-year-old and a two-year-old so um it's hard it's really hard and um i'm really thinking about hiring like a nanny somebody i can depend on to help me out this is just to be honest because <laughs> case in point <laughs> to help me out so that i could focus on work because i find myself being scatterbrained and cannot focus on one task at a time um because i'm feeling pulled in many different directions for obvious reasons i have small children so that is the sum of it like that's it that's all let's use my james charles palette by morph i'm going to use these dark colors right here and i'm just going to go ahead and contour dust off my uh, powder then I'm gonna go in with my highlighter which I cracked by Becca Cosmetics I'm gonna have to buy another one anybody know how to ref to fix look it's completely cracked by Becca and I'm so hurt. So I'm just going to highlight my nose. The highest point of my cheekbone. And make it into a C. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do a nice little light. Um, I'm going to use this palette right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with. I think I'm going to do like. Mm, these two colors right here so I'm gonna start in with this um, solid pink and I'm just going to go ahead and work I love the pigmentation of this palette this gold right here this is the nude mix and match eyeshadow this is Fenty number one and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to my top layer of my eye Allison Deer, nope, Beer <laughs> lip gloss. It's the perfect nude for like women of color because, like, you know how certain nudes when you're a certain complexion, it just don't be hitting. It's not it. This one is perfect.
Then I'm gonna finish with my NYX Matte Finish Spray. This here is from Lorima Hair. Links will be below. That concludes today's tutorial. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. A big thumbs up, please. If you've seen, learned something new. Um, if you like the install, please give me a big thumbs up. And please leave a comment. Just say, um, random question. What is your favorite color and why? Leave it below. Um, I'm feeling it. This hair is so pretty. This is the natural curly um, unit. It's bomb. Hair soft. Very soft. If only you can feel it. Definitely leave a comment. Alright, love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video.